Welcome to my channel, I'm Camila and today is a very important day. Today I'm going to do the blood test and the urine test to confirm if, me, if God help me, if I'm pregnant. I can tell you I'm very anxious because I'm so confused about all urine tests I have taken. Today also June asked me to do again another urine test, so I did D11. Here. Again positive. The past two days I took the test also positive, all of them. See day 9, day 10, day 11. You know what I don't understand? Okay, if my urine is contaminated by the medicines I'm taking, why am I having all symptoms, these weird symptoms? I'm kind of anxious and June is also anxious. Uh, you can see my uh, see my face. I I have dark circles here because I couldn't sleep last night. You know, it's a lot of emotions at the same time. So, so we are going to the clinic. We are just waiting for the time because to do this blood and urine test, we have a, a schedule. Even if we arrive the order, they will not uh, take my blood and do not ask me to do the urine test. So guys, we finished the blood and urine test. The urine test came positive and it took like five minutes to do the urine test. When I delivered my urine test, the nurse told me to wait around 30 minutes to confirm by the urine test, but after five minutes, we received the confirmation and for the blood test during the day the clinic will call us to tell if we have a considerable amount of HGC in my blood this hormone is very important because this is the pregnancy hormone so we are expecting to have a good news they said if we have over 100 it's okay below that is not okay now we are waiting for a call while you wait for the call, we are going to eat something because we are starving. Are you okay, June? Okay. Hey guys, I just received a call from the clinic and they told me that she has a significant amount of level of HCZ and it's, it's around 680. And then mm -hmm. they told me that at 100 level of HCZ. It is considered as pregnant woman. Now, for those who fail in vitro, they normally stay below 100 level of HCZ. So I think we are confirmed. Mm -hmm. Our pregnancy is confirmed. Yes. But yes, so, so far, so now, I will consider that I'm pregnant, okay? We are pregnant for today. Yes. Because? Because uh, her HCG level is over 680, but since she did in vitro, uh, there is high chance of abortion, so we need to pay attention to. Uh, the day after tomorrow, she has to do blood test again, and she, we need to check her HCG level, and it should be double, so which should be 1,200. I got curious about my HCG level and I look it up in the internet to find what is the normal rate for each week. I found a chart from AmericanPregnancy.org and that they say for four weeks we should have the maximum 426 and I have 680. Considering that I did the in vitro, I know exactly when the embryo was transferred. I might have an idea when I got pregnant. I should be in the beginning of four weeks. It makes me think, am I having a gemini pregnancy? I also checked another uh, site and for four weeks over 600, it might indicate gemini pregnancy. But also I heard that if it's not a gemini pregnancy, it might be a girl. When, when you're pregnant with a girl, your first ACG is super high. I, I, I consider this my 680 high. So I don't know. I don't know. We need to wait for the ultrasound. In this other chapter here, I can see if my HCG is over 600. 
I have 0.82% of biochemical pregnancy, almost 15% of miscarriage, 0% of ectopic pregnancy, and ongoing pregnancy can be almost 85%. What's good, right? I have a chance. Oh, look at you, look at you, you're so cute. <laughs> Guys, we have just come back from the clinic. Today we did the second blood test to check if my HCG has increased. Remember, it should increase twice, at least. And we did the ultrasound to check if the embryo is in the correct place. The blood test came out and it is over 1,800 and they said it is very stabilized. I think uh, we just need to pay attention to what's going on and we need to be careful with everything. This result, 1,800, it's like 2.7 times and we just needed two times. We did our ultrasound and we also received this because it was confirmed. Here are the pictures. You can see, here you can see also a little ball. It's confirmed, we are pregnant. Pudin, you are going to have a little brother or little sister. Are you happy? I don't feel it's real because we can see only this small dot, but it's, we're so happy now. Guys, it's happening. I hope the pregnancy can go well. I need to take it for the next 10 weeks, a medicine to prevent abortion, plus all medicines I have been taking. Guys, we're going to see the baby till 10 weeks or almost 11 weeks. After that, we need to go to the maternity since she has low blood pressure and she has negative blood so they suggest us to go to higher hospital that has maternity the day i deliver the baby if i need to have a c-section mm -hmm. i need to have a blood transfusion and as my is negative it's a rare blood in korea it might be a problem if i don't go to a higher hospital a big hospital here i'm really happy but i'm also concerned and worried because of possible abortion because since she has a weak body, the doctor is also concerned about her health. Our doctor is literally super worried about us. I think she didn't believe we would make it at once. I think it's a miracle. And she literally said it's a miracle. Since it's a miracle, I want to keep this miracle. So we have to really, really be careful with everything. Mm -hmm. So guys... We are happy to share with you this news. Thank you for all praise and all cross fingers you have been doing for us. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. -bye.